Now this is the Passeria Center in Los Cristianos and I did this on Friday or Saturday and then it didn't work out. So this was just the hat cam, that worked okay, but uh, unfortunately this YouTube, I'm here trying to put the stabilization on, but what I forgot to do was uh, take 4K off, so it was just recording in too high a size and the uh, stabilization isn't as good in the high, in the high uh, resolutions. This will be interesting to show you how I do it. It's basically on a gimbal. There you go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is Tim Dow for Living with MS in Tenerife. I've been doing a drive around the last two days and the stabilization has been terrible. Then my Mac gave the ghost up and uh, unfortunately I got to do it all again. So I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'm just going to go from here to Puerto Colón and from Puerto Colón I'm going to drive around to Fanny Bay and show you that area there. So this is Tim Down for Lumin there in Tenerife taking you on a little run. Here we go another vlogger. So here's the El Mirador where we met uh, Sahar and Daniel. Now this restaurant usually has all these tables outside, so you can't really walk down here. But it looks quite nice empty, to tell you the truth. Beautiful area for sunsets, of course. Now, I've never been in Las Rojas. Looks nice though. I've heard the water's cold. Not sure. Anybody been there? Let me know in the comments below. Keep your eyes away from that shadow. It's like a blimp. So we're coming down towards Puerto Colón. There's a nice row of restaurants uh, down here. This guy is the guy selling jeweler at the top and I think he must be also looking to clean look ominous oh yeah attention no scooters bikes or anything I don't think anybody takes notice of that though do they so it's a shame to see all these uh, restaurants closed down And even the ones that are open, I don't think they can afford to stay open. Uh, these two are uh, trying to sell massages.
forgot to take a picture of the everlasting van which is parked in that car park. So this is Puerto Colón at the top here. I was lucky I got a, I got a parking space in the free bit. I always check here first. Okay, so we're sticking the camera on top now. Take you for a quick drive around. song is called Badlands. It's quite apt, I think. So this should take us up to San Eugenio Shopping Centre. Well, you used to be able to turn left here, but now you've got to turn right. You're forced to turn right and go around the roundabout by the Wiki Wiki Bar, where it's called. Organ Blue Player on the right hand side. I was going to turn around here and go back down to San Eugenio, but I think you've been that way a few times, so I thought I'd go past the new bus station. Well, it's not new, but it's been redone. Extended and uh, the road around has been done better. Well, that hospital we just passed on the left-hand side is Crion, where you can get your PCR test for 125 euros. Although somebody did say it come down to 90, but I'm not sure. So this is the new road, and instead of the big roundabout now, the buses have got more places to park. So it's more like a good bus station. Estación de Guaguas. Coming up to the Magma Centre here. Now if you park on the right here, at the end of the cars, there's a little path going down, and that goes to Los uh, Agaves, which is where I get my vegetables, or I used to. And fresh, what's it called? Fresh herbs, as the Americans would say. So we're just coming up to the roundabout with the police station on it on the left there. That's where you get all your uh, residential stuff done. So if you turn right here, that takes you back down to Playa de las Americas. 
we're coming up now to the roundabout where you can get back onto the autopista TF1. Now you're really supposed to go in the inside lane to go around here, but nobody ever does. I think I'm the only person who does, and they think I'm the person that's doing it wrong, which I probably am. Because when you're driving in a foreign country, you should really just follow the people, not the law. I mean, you've got to follow the law, but you know, you're the danger if you if you do 30 in a 30 zone and everybody else is doing 50. So, on the way to Siam Mall and Siam Park. Siam Mall went up pretty quick. Um, I remember it being built and it was really like not there one day and there the next, it was quite good. I just bought my new pair of spectacles there. There's a place in there that's a bit like spec savers, I suppose. Uh, 169 euros for two pairs. You get a normal pair of glasses and you get uh, sunglasses thrown in. I know you could probably get for 99 quid in Britain, but we're not that cutthroat here. nervous disposition. I had to do that so that the sun would sort of get to a certain point at the, uh, the white windmill. I love that song. If you like the music, you can get it from Epidemic Sound. There's a link in the description for a free trial. get better. Thirsty Turtles closed. I'm not sure whether it's closed down or whether they're just having a break. Harley's. I think they put those wet things over because of the rain last time and never took them off. So this hotel on the left. Playa La Pinta has been done up in the last, well, last year actually. What's 
in any judgment. Bar Unique. Go down there to the left, you get to Tanyo's. Sybil. So we're coming up to what you guys would call Fanya Bay now. And it is Fanya Bay. It's the coast. Fanuay Plaza, where you can get the buses in all directions. Walk left down to the beach. Jacaranda's not open. This uh, hotel on the right is, but that's not open either. We're doing a lot of work on there. So the Fanny Bay, GF Fanny Bay, and uh, Isabel. Right there's the shopping centre with my bank in it, Sabadell. Don't know what happened to this guy. Maybe he broke down or on the phone, all this is. So this is the older Dehi market. I don't know whether they're going to carry on doing it here or whether they're going to move it down to uh, Tanyos. But on the right over here is the Duke shops. I think they'd be upset if the market moved. I actually did one on the Duke shop, so you can go back and I'll link it in the description in the corner. A Deje Grande. And on the left here you can see the water park of the GF Victoria. That was quite cute actually. We even got like a... Like a, a water park with a... Um, thing where you can go, go surfing, you know, where they got this, this wave you can surf on in a swim. Oh, it's really weird. So we're coming for this decision time now. Do I go down to like a letter or do I go up towards Fania Bay? What? I hear you saying you've just been through Fania Bay. Oh, looks like we're going to... No, we're going all the way around. Wow. That's a great view. This is 
actually going to take us up towards a new road where they put a bike track which is well very welcome but it doesn't go anywhere it doesn't come from anywhere it doesn't go anywhere but it is perfect i'm just hoping it's the beginning bike track on the left and the footpath on the right. They even colour coded them. this road. It's a very nice straight road. It's got a nice feeling to it. It's clean. If they do end up building around it, it's going to be a very nice neighbourhood. Obviously, I won't be able to afford a house that they can build here, though. But I'm quite happy where I am. Super view from the balcony. Don't forget to join us every Wednesday. Balcony banter. We get together. Me and a load of women. And you guys, you can join in. All you need is a phone. You can come in and have a chat with us. You can even turn your camera on and come on as a video guest. Or an audio guest. Or just type in the comments because we're live. So we're back at the TF1. This is the exit Fania Bay. That's how it's pronounced actually, it's so Fania Bay, so there's an N with a N and the E with the accent, so it's Fania Bay. Not Fanabi, or Fanabi, or Fana Bay. Just think of San Francisco Bay, and you're going to fan something, so it's Fania Bay. So this is the village of Fania Bay, supermarket, sports centre, school, nice little square with a pub in it, church, lots of residential places and some quite cute ones too. And I just love this tree. You see the entrance has got maybe two apartments in it at the bottom and then stairs up to apartments at the top. So this is like a kiosk bar where you can sit outside in a big square just in front of the church there at the end. I wanted to get a good shot of the uh, kiosk without getting out of the car so I actually broke the law here by accident I only realized afterwards so I'm getting this shot of the kiosk and now I turn left and realize it's a one-way street luckily enough I pretended I knew what I was doing I turned immediately left <laughs> So over the wall there is the uh, Beranco. Beranco de Inglés, I think it is. And I think this is a, sh a school in front of us. Fania Bay School. I will check. And this lovely 
tree again. So I do like the uh, the way these flats are sort of like there are too many stairs for Christine, of course, but they're quite cute, I think. They've even built the modern ones in a similar style. So it doesn't matter what road you go down here, you'll always end up at this big roundabout. So we're coming back down now towards the Autopista TF1. Bizarre Panda on the left and Mimo. I don't even know what Mimo sell. Let's have a, have a look in there. I don't buy stuff anymore, so. And then I realised I hadn't shown you guys the Fania Bay welcome sign. So here it is. to like, subscribe and ring that little bell for notifications when I upload new videos. You can always follow us on Facebook and Instagram as well. So I'll go hand you over to History Tim now and pretend I did this earlier. three days and the problem was I was recording in 4k so it was too big so the stabilization didn't work on top of the camera so this one was done in 1080p and I've just finished cutting it now and I'm going to upload it uh, tomorrow Thursday so when you see this it'll be Thursday the 14th of September 2021 don't forget to like subscribe and ring that little bell for notifications and we'll see you on the next one bye didn't I just say that?